from Peters Township High School in McMurray, Pennsylvania. Tonight, the Penn Hills Indians take on the Indians of Peters Township. A very pleasant good evening to you. I'm Bill Navari. The Penn Hills Indians tied for the top spot in the Southeastern Conference, technically with Gardner points over Woodland Hills, but let's not jump ahead of ourselves. We have uh, four, three games before we match up with Woodland Hills, but the Indians so far undefeated in Southeast Conference play going to take on these Penn or Peters Township Indians. The Indians lost to Woodland Hills 27-0, Upper St. Clair 35-13. They beat Cannon Mack 27-14, then lost to New uh, beat Newcastle, and then lost last week to Mount Lebanon. The Indians coming off last week's big win over Baldwin, 63-35. The Indians scoring nine touchdowns last week. Problem with last week's victories, the Indians allowed Baldwin to hang in the game until late in the fourth quarter when the Indians really poured it on. Indians cannot allow Peters Township to do that. They have a great quarterback in number one, Corey Owen. So the Indians' defense is going to be needing some top play tonight. Indians have won the toss. They've elected to receive. Indians decked out in the all-whites and the gold helmets. Back for the Indians. Henton Malik Mathis and the birthday boy, Billy Kisner. This one's going to be short towards Mathis. Mathis will scoop it up at the 13-yard line. Mathis up the right sideline, has a lane and some blockers. Mathis spins across the 50-yard line with a nice return going down about the 47-yard line of the Peters Township Indians. 40-yard return for Mathis. And the Indians start in great field position. Kisner in the standard shotgun. Tayshan Campbell to his right, about two yards behind, offset. Mathis comes in motion this way, high snap. Kisner will have to keep it himself. He'll get down to the 45-yard line. Tackle on the play by number 61, Christian Phelps. And the Indians looking at his second and eight. Looked like the Indians wanted to do something else, but the snap came in high, and Kisner had to improvise. Jones goes in motion left to right. It'll be Jones on the jet right, looking for somewhere to go. Jet. The jet up the sideline by Isaiah Jones. Stayed in bounds. Touchdown, Penn Hills. Isaiah Jones, 45 yards. Yep, number 10. The Indians take the lead here early on their second play from scrimmage. Indians will try the point after Nate Farako to kick, Jones to hold. Touchdown coming with 11.05 to go here in quarter number one. Kick looked like it was blocked, no good. So with 11.05 to go here in the first quarter, it's Peters Township trailing your Penn Hills Indians by a score of 6-0 here on the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Racco's kick down to the six-yard line. Peters looking for a nice return, trying to go somewhere. Diving through the pile out across the 30-yard line to the 32 is Nick Kirsch. Oh, Markham at the 32.
Peters keeps it on the ground. Posey's there. Joined by Cody Allen. But a three yard run nonetheless for Michael McAlevey. Owen under center. I'll keep it on the ground again. Looking for someone to go, and there is nowhere to go. Is TJ Pan. Ames on the tackle for the Indians. I'll call no gain. It'll be third and seven. Owen with a back each side. Peters with a man in motion, right to left, and Peters Township will jump. After the Indians uh, penalty scoring on their second offensive play, we're kind of in a yawner now as we get to a third down. Indians playing such high tempo that anybody else seems like they're going in slow motion. No wins will roll to his left. Looking downfield, throws. Has a man behind the defense. It's caught. Did he have it in bounds? Yes, he did. Pass complete down to the 33 yard line. Thirty-eight yards on the reception. That was the Indians' Achilles heel last week. Their secondary allowed some big plays. The Baldwin receivers. Pan looking for somewhere to go. Cody Allen comes up. It'll be Posey finally wrapping up, bringing him down at the thirty-three yard, thirty-two yard line. Big gain of a yard. Clock really eight and a half to go here in the first period. The Indians up six nothing. Rain seems to have moved through the area. Still a chance for some stray showers as the evening goes through. But right now it's a beautiful Friday night for football here in October. And the Indians jump off sides. Malik Menard. See if he was drawn. No, nope. Indians give him a gift five. So that'll be second and four with the offside call. Well, we'll be placed at the Penn Hills 27. Owen, quick hitter, left side, wide receiver screen. Short gain. Benny Ingram with the tackle for the Indians. Tim Swoop with the reception for Peters Township. It'll bring up a third down. Benny Ingram, 26 on the tackle. And again, Tim Swoop, number seven on the reception. Pick up about two, it'll be third and two.
Peters will have the first down and more. Number 22, Michael McAlevey with the tackle. Malik Mathis will have the, the tackle. It'll be first down, down to the 15 yard line. After a gain of 12. Swoop will split to the near side. And it'll be McAlevey down to the 13 yard line, pickup of two. And once again, Christian Randall Posey with the tackle. Play action. Owens rolls to his right, throws underneath, has a man inside of 10, 5, touchdown. Oh, he slid in. Oh, replay would have him down at the one yard line. Well, they give him the touchdown. Fifteen yards on the reception. Owen to Clayton Yates. Kick is up and through, 6.09 to go, first quarter. Peters Township, seven. Penn Hills, six. You are watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Eight plays, 68 yards for the Peters Township Indians. Short kick goes out of bounds. I think the Indians are going to have him re kick it. Why not? I think that's a ploy. Them kicking it, giving them the ball at the 35. That beats uh, Mathis or Kisner, returning it across the 50 or all the way. They will kick it away this time. Mathis fakes the reverse to Kisner. Comes this way. Mathis still on his feet, runs into his own man, and then finally pushed down at the 16-yard line. So that didn't quite work out the way that they had planned. But you take the chance. Well, they'll move the ball out to the 17. Nice movement there. The way they threw the flag looks like it's offsides against Peters. It is offsides against Peters. The key is you look at which direction they throw the flag. If they throw it from our vantage point to the left, it's on the defense. To the right, it's on the offense. Ordinarily, that's your barometer. Math is in motion. And it's going to be Campbell with a hole across the 25, out to the 26-yard line. A uh, pickup of about four. It'll be second and one. Yeah. 
Jones this way. Jones with the ball this way. Looking for somewhere to go. Stutter step. Gets himself to first down. Loses the football, but it goes out of bounds, fortunately for the Indians. Or did it? No, it did go out of bounds, fortunately for the Indians. So out to the 41-yard line. We'll give Jones a 15-yard pickup. It'll be a 16-yard pickup then. Milan Smith. Kisner will keep it himself. Looking for somewhere to go. Kind of dangerously holds that football out as he runs through. But does pick up six out to the 47-yard line. Malik Russell down to the 35-yard line. Seven with the run, seven with the tackle. The Indians with a big gain. What was the pickup you had on that one? 18 yards for Russell. Ball to 35-yard line. Indians have Julian Foy in the slot to the left. He'll go in motion. And it'll be Campbell through the hole. Campbell still on his feet, cuts back this way. Stiff arms a man, brought down on the play by Nick Kirsch, number 11. Maybe a four-yard pickup for Tayshan. And it'll be a second down and six for the Indians as the clock rolls under four minutes to go here in quarter number one. Mathis on the jet sweep to the side. Barrels himself ahead. Again, it's Kirsch with the tackle down at the 25 yard line. Be close to a first down. See where they mark him. It is indeed a first down, a pickup of six for young Mr. Mathis. Squires split to the right, Jones this way. Tayshan Campbell off right side with a big hole. Touchdown saving tackle by number 28, Jake Euler. And he'll get down to the 17 yard line after a pickup of eight. Second down and two for the Indians. Indians running, uh, showing a little counter there, and the hole was huge. Kisner pumps, takes off, left side, big hole inside the 10, the 5, loses his helmet and goes down at the 2-yard line. 15 yards for Kisner, he'll have to come out of play. They will mark him at the 1-yard line, 16-yard pickup, first and goal. Wow, that was scary. Lose the helmet, you got to come out one play. So Malik Mathis in a quarterback with Campbell to his right. And it'll be Campbell for one yard out. Made that one look easy. Jones 
Fracco to try another point after. The Indians will go for the one. Peters jumps off sides. I don't know. That's a, once you move that halfway there, it's something to think about. I don't know. I might want to try to go for two here. Yeah, and they will go for it. You better hurry up. Play clock is running. And the Indians do get in for the conversion. 2.32 to go. First quarter, Penn Hills 14, Peters 7. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Indians, 83 yards in nine plays. Take advantage of the offside penalty on the extra point. Make the conversion good. The Indians up 14-7. Indians close on Alan Schneider at the 27-yard line. Miles, number 81, Miles Eames on the tackle. And Peters takes over at their own 27. Those of you watching on YouTube, you can follow us uh, live updates on Twitter at PHQB Club. Look for us on Facebook, Penn Hills Quarterback Club. Knapp hit quickly by Emmanuel Johnson and the rest of the Indians come in. And Knapp does, does a job, nice job to get back to the line of scrimmage. Posey also in on the tackle. Oh, and we'll roll to his left, looking downfield. Under pressure, gets the pass away. Pass is caught. Dropped quickly, oh, nice coverage, tight coverage by Ben Ingram. Pickup of about three yards. Uh, the call to pick up a four, it'll be third and six. Ingram was right there, tight on the coverage. Owens will roll this way. Under pressure, throws the ball away. Head swoop out in the out in the flats. It'll bring up a fourth down. And Peters is going to have to punt. First punt of the game by either team. Up to this point, there are three possessions and three touchdowns. Low snap, line drive kick, Mathis at the 34. Goes the end around to Kisner this time. Kisner goes backwards, still on his feet, comes this way. Picking and choosing his way to go, but Kisner will go down. And back at the 24 yard line. The 
Indians is being a little too cute by half there. Fortunately, I do it so much it becomes a little predictable. So waiting for the sticks to get set on the far side. 31 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Indians run the ball. It should be the final play. We'll just have to switch sides. Mathis looking for a hole this way. Finds it. Looks. Goes. Mathis with some blockers. Mathis is gone. Mathis inside the 20. 10. 5. Touchdown. Penn Hills. 76 yards. For Malik Mathis and the Indians go up just like that, and it's not the final play of the first quarter. Yeah. Mathis goes 67 yards on the jet sweep this way. Fracco's kick up and through. 17 seconds to go. First quarter. The score, Penn Hills 21, Peters 7. You are watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Faracco's kick taken at the five. Nice deep kick by Faracco. Looked like something was going to happen there for Tim Swoop, but Gene Robinson will make the tackle for the Indians, number 19. And Peters will have it at the 30-yard line. Peters keeps it on the ground. Emmanuel Johnson will bring down McAlevey at the line of scrimmage for no gain. And that'll do it for the first quarter. After one, Penn Hills 21, Peters 7. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Second quarter about to get underway with a second down and 10 for Peters at their own 30-yard line. Toss this way, Knapp. Looks for somewhere to go. Emmanuel Johnson will drop him for no gain. It'll be a third down and 10 for Peters. Emmanuel Johnson, a little on fire here tonight. Playing some inspired football. It's great to see him getting more into the action. There's four tackles here, and we're just getting underway in quarter number two. Owen with the straight drop. Rolls to his right now. Looks for 